Hey, welcome back to the Positive State Podcast. Glad you're tuning in. Uh, the host, Jeremy Todd, man, big man, big episode. You know, it's been a little couple, a few days since I've actually done a good episode by myself. Uh, you know, hey, life happens, right? I mean, there's some crazy things that have gone on in my life, and I want to share these with you because that's what we do on the Positive Side Podcast, authentic, realistic, and hopefully this makes a difference in your life because um, this episode is going to be about suicide and depression. I know I've done a bunch of them, uh, but I recently had a friend that passed away from suicide. And I'm gonna, just going to go ahead and read some of his obituary because this is just this is what makes it real. Uh, Michael P. Cummins, 43, of Hoagland, Indiana, passed away Wednesday, June 23rd, 2021, at his residence and was unexpected. He was born on June 20, 1978, in Fort Wayne, Indiana, to Phil Cummins and Patricia Cummins. Michael was reunited in marriage to Rachel Horman on April 23rd, 2016, at Emmanuel Lutheran Church, and she survives uh, he was a member of the church and lived in Fort Wayne. He loved painting, nature, the outdoors, music, hockey, and cars, taught to him by his grandfather. But above, above all else, his greatest love was the guitar. He would, he would daily play one, and this served him well at his current or his past employer. He, served by, he survived by his wife, Rachel, um, his daughter, Emily, son, Brandon, daughter, Abigail, three stepsons, and obviously his brother, Josh. You know, it, it man, it just makes you think, right? I mean, uh, it's, it's like the, it's, it's, this is more real now than it's ever been ever. Like, I, I've talked about this on this episode multiple times because I struggle with depression, right? And, and I know there's a lot of people out there that do, but there's so many people that do and you don't even realize, which that's the scary part about this stuff is that, man, it's, it, it, it just, so many things go through my mind. Let's just my buddy. Like, what well, what was he thinking? What like how I, I used to back in the day, I used to get upset. I used to be really mad. Like, why would he do that? He's got so many things. He's leaving behind his daughters, his his son, his wife, his family, his buddies. I mean, why would you do that? I mean, like, I guess so. It, it, this is how I used to feel. And, th and now I've, I, and this goes back and forth. There's again, there's no right or wrong answer to any of this. This is all, excuse my language, this is all fucked up. Um, but it's, it's like, man, the fear in the, like when he's in this position to make this decision, the fear, the sadness, I mean, you can't comprehend what this guy's feeling. And, and it's, it's, it's selfish for me to compare myself and to think like, oh my God, why would he do that? That's bullshit. That's, there's, he should have got help. Like, who am I? Like, who am I to understand the mental capacity, the mental state this guy's in? Uh, I've got no right, number one, no right for him to take his life um, with so many people that care about him. Something's wrong, man. I mean, something's seriously wrong. And, and I go back to the, you know, the book that I wrote and I talk about me struggling with depression and I put in this book and I'm going to read a little bit. Depression is like a storm for me. It doesn't show up every day. Like it would, like it's like typical weather. I have more sunshine days than cloudy days. There are also days when I feel like like it just rains all day. I don't know when the depression is going to show up. I, I'll be fine for a couple of days, and then, man, it hits me right in the head. Sometimes it's hard for me to pinpoint what triggered it. I think about every reason possible. Maybe it was just something someone said to me. Maybe I'm just not as good as I think I am. Maybe it was my childhood. The list goes on and on and on. I know, or I'm not sure what it really, what it re is really. All I know is that it is a big part of my life. And it's weird when you go down these depression roads, it's like you try and justify it to yourself constantly. It's, well, I can, I, you know, I've got this I'm upset about. This isn't working right. Why am I here? Um, and, and sometimes, man, I don't know how to explain it. It's just a overall feeling of darkness. It's the most bizarre thing. And, and I've analyzed it and, and I sit with it. I think about it. Sometimes I just want quiet and, and just be able to process it. With me, there are different levels of depression. There are days and nights when I don't want to get out of bed. I'll hit the snooze button multiple times just so I don't have to face the day. And all that does is make my anxiety kick up because now I'm late for work. It, it makes me that much more uh, in a tough spot. Like not, now that I, I, I've fought with this depression, now that I'm late, now I've added this additional level of stress and anxiety to my life. Uh, then I get to work and ask myself, what is wrong with me? And, and I know everybody that's out there is depressed that like as this valley and it's like waves, like it's up and down, up and down. And when it gets to the up part, when you're not as depressed, 
you just think to yourself, what is wrong with you? Like, why can't you kick this? Um, I try to put on a big front, like I'm the positive side guy. I can't be down. My face immediately shows that big smile, but deep down, I just keep thinking about how my life, life sucks. I mean, that's real, all right? I mean, it gives me it gives me chills. It makes brings tears to my eyes. I don't know how to comprehend this. Um, and I, I, I almost want to just dedicate the rest of my life to suicide and depression. I feel like just quitting my job and just going out and touring the world and talking about suicide and depression because I feel, the, and I'm blessed. Like I have this podcast where I can air my, my stress and my anxiety and my depression out to the world. And that makes me feel better. It's like, I have someone to talk to, even though I don't know anybody out there listening. I know a few people, but I don't know most people listen to the show all around the world. Yet I feel better when I talk about it. And there's so many people out there that just don't. There's so many people out there that have it so much worse than me. And they've, tried before i've done episodes where i've told you guys that uh, i've had people reach out that they've tried to commit suicide yet they find this show they find uh, a light they find someone that's even common ground right i mean that's that's a lot of times what you what you find is people that uh, that makes you feel better when you understand that you're not the only one and i guess the biggest story and the biggest lesson from today's show is understanding that no matter what you're going through in life not only you're not the only one but there's someone else to talk to um and talk to me I've started my phone number multiple times. You can email me, jeremy at jeremytodd.com. It's just this one, I don't know. It just hit, hit a little bit different. I, all the things that rush through my head, and, and when I'm extremely depressed, like I was extremely depressed a, a few days ago. Like I, I don't know. I, 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 it's not that I've ever been to the point that I'd want to commit suicide. I've never been to that point. And I think a lot of it has to do with, the attitude of gratitude and, and counting my blessings and understanding that life is going to be, it's going to get better. Like if I, if I give up now, um, what's 30 years from now, like, like how would I pass on the rest of this? Uh, there's so much more life to live and I want everybody to be here and I want to be here and I want you to be here. I want you to be in my life. So if you're struggling, you're bummed out, you're depressed, you're fighting things, you're broke, you're on the streets, you're struggling with drugs Understand that there is help out there, but you have to take the first step to reach out. You have to. Like, if you don't, it, it, it doesn't end up good. And if there's that glimpse of hope, that small, tiny, 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 little itty-bitty light, if, there's, if, if you see that, then there's got to be something more there. There's got to be the opportunity to go towards that light and to reach out, to ask for help. Um, please ask for help. Please reach out to me. Email me. That's the best way to do it is email me. And if we have to jump on a call, we'll jump on a call. But I just know there's people around you and you may not believe it. You may not understand it. There may, you don't understand the lives that you touch. I said, I haven't seen my buddy in a few years, um, but that touched my life. And I'm not even immediately, I don't, I, you know, he has kids and brother and, and a mother and father that are still with us. I, I can't imagine the devastation for them as well the things that you wish you would have said uh, on both sides, right? Like if it's not only when you take your life, you, you don't ever have the opportunity to tell those people the love that you love, how you truly feel. And they don't have the same exact opportunity to tell you the same thing. I know I'm just rambling on and it, it doesn't matter, but like I said, I, I just want to make sure I get this message out that whatever you do, please don't give up. Like, I, I don't know how else to put it. I'm not giving up. Uh, there's no chance like that. I'm too full of piss and vinegar. I got too much shit to get done. Uh, but I know depression's real. I know it's real and it affects me. Uh, not every day, but damn near every day. At some point it crosses my mind. Um, but I'm not giving up. And I think this is an epidemic right now. I think it's more prevalent now than we've ever seen it before ever in the history of mankind. And we need to start talking about it. We need to start sharing our stories. We need to get out there and help each other and, and just have these conversations because the more it's on the forefront, the more we can talk about it, the more it's, that we see it, the more real it's going to be. And then when someone says they're depressed, we don't just brush it off. Oh yeah, whatever. Oh, so am I. There's different levels, man. There's just different levels. Don't be that person. 
uh, email me, please. Uh, tell me what you think. Share this episode. I've talked about it a million times. Share this episode with other people that you love. Um, reach out to me, Jeremy, jeremytodd.com. Leave those reviews. More, Like I said, more importantly, just share this episode. Um, I say this at the end of every episode, and I mean it from the bottom of my heart. Uh, you've got greatness within, for sure. I promise you, like always, this is the positive side. <laughs>